This is Twit. Uh, corpses and carcasses, the iPod is dead. Uh, <laughs> that's got a grim way to put it. <laughs> well, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. Had a the, good run. The, <laughs> they had a good run. The, the first iPod came out in October 2001. The last iPod, the iPod Touch, Apple has announced they will make no more. Actually, what they said is uh, something like, uh, while supplies last, you can order an iPod <laughs> Touch. The implication being it ain't going to last much longer. Uh, it's, it's all over for the iPod Touch, all over for the iPod, which was a revolutionary product that in many ways saved Apple. Again, I'm reading this great Trip Mickle book after Steve, and he, and he talks about, remember, Apple was, was 100 days uh, away from bankruptcy under Gil Emilio, right, in the mid-'90s. They were just, yeah. they were dead meat. Because, you know, first Scully, you know, drives them in one direction, then Herr Spindler, Michael Spindler comes in, and he does other things. And then Gil Emilio is brought in by the board to save the company. And he had no idea what he was doing. And by the end of those three, there was not much left after they fired Steve Jobs. But the one thing Emilio did that was smart, he brought Steve Jobs back. He bought Next. And Steve came in, swooped in, saved the company. First by making uh, the beautiful Bondi Blue iMac, which did mm. sell very well. But I think it's... It's probably the case that four years later, when the iPod came out, that was when Apple really started its climb. And of course, it was the it was really the precursor for the iPhone six years later. Um, so, the beginning of creating the most valuable company in the world. Actually, it's no longer the most valuable company in the world, is it? Who? <laughs> I think who's the I think uh, BP or who's somebody the most, is now Saudi Saudi oh, Saudi Aramco. Aramco. Okay. Ah. Mm -hmm. uh, Sorry. Yeah, I remember getting the first iPod for review. I was uh, writing freelance for the Seattle Times at the time, so uh, Apple's like, and Apple was no big shakes. So they're like, hey, you want to review this thing before it comes out? I said, sure, and I promptly broke it by sticking in a too long uh, eighth-inch adapter, and they were like, okay, we'll send you another one. We'll send you another one. You had no I idea had how valuable those were. Oh, my were. God. No, and I, so I sent it back. They sent me another one, and I handed it to, my niece was, was she 13 or 14 at the time? I said, here, see what you can do with this. And she immediately, within five seconds, had music playing out of it. And I'm like, there it is. And I think the iPad, one of its unique characteristics was that it never stopped being cool for its kind of primary lifetime before the iPhone took over. Uh, you could be uh, 5 or 10 or 17 or 85, and it still wasn't not cool because adults were using it, right? It was, I don't know that there's another product that's quite like that. Here is from 2001, the very first, I think I could show this now. The statute of limitations is expired. I don't know. Oh, is this the panic thing? This is the very no no no. This is the very first iPod oh, oh. commercial. Uh, oh oh, I'm a sorry. A guy sitting mm. at his white i Mac uh, MacBook uh, Pro. He's dancing to the music, and this was I think before they used real music. So I think I can show this. This is just some random drum track. There he is with iTunes. He really loves. Oh no, it's maybe it's the propeller heads. He really loves this song. Oh, what is that he's copying? He's using Firewire. What? <gasps> and now, the same song. <laughs> and he's dancing out the door. This was the famous thousand songs in your pocket. This predates the really legendary iPod ads, which were the black silhouettes with the white headphones. Uh, but it did have the dancing in there. Oh, I love this one. It's better <laughs> even than the black silhouettes. Yeah, yeah going out of his uh, clearly a Brooklyn apartment. Uh, and he's got the thousand songs in his pocket. A thousand songs. Okay, he's no AKA Twigs, but still. Yeah, and they I, still were using Think Different back I, in the day. Wow. The statute of limitations never runs, and to the extent <gasps> that copyrighted music triggers, I'm dead. Any of They're going to the, take yeah, me down. Then, then it'll get taken down. But this is fair use because we are doing commentary. We're commentarying about on top the of the iPod. Yeah. <laughs> but as you and well know. That, Fair use is, was is it central to yes. our commentary. That's right. That's right. Uh, remember, there were some moments with the iPod that we'll never forget, like iPod socks. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Um, I had forgotten until you said that yeah, phrase. Nope. The, <laughs> the iPod hi-fi that was Best. so good that Steve Jobs said he was throwing out his million uh, millions of dollars uh, of iPod equipment or uh, stereo equipment. 
I don't think Steve did. Um, but yeah, the, it's kind of the, it's really the end of uh, an era. You know, the last iPod, the iPod Touch, will no longer be manufactured because everybody's got an iPhone or. And now everybody's streaming. It doesn't really, you don't need to store music anymore. You have a. It's really, it was really upsetting. One of, uh, one of our Gen Z coworkers <laughs> was like, um, the iPod touch was the first device <sighs> that I, that I took oh. my first selfie on. And oh I was my. like, Oh, wow. I was like, in my day, the iPod did not have a camera. <laughs> do you remember your, do you remember your first iPod, Caitlin? My first iPod was the blue iPod mini. Ooh. Um, it was very stylish. I got yeah. it for Christmas. Um, I remember I was in college. I took it with me everywhere. And then eventually I had to upgrade to the iPod classic. So I needed more space for all the songs. I was definitely downloading legally. Um, <laughs> from, from Napster. <laughs> yeah. I remember that. Yeah. From the, any, yeah. <laughs> these were great. These iPod minis were really, they were aluminum, which was a oh, big, yeah. The original uh, iPods were polycarbonate fronts with steel, uh, shiny steel backs. Um, they got rid of the spinning click wheel by this time, so it was just a little wheel. Um, some, yeah, this is from PC great. Magazine. They have a whole history of the uh, iPod at PCMag.com. Uh, There's the iPod Nano in Steve Jobs' you'll, hands. You'll never be able to play video on an iPod, iPod you know. As he Steve said Jobs that, said. yeah. Never, <laughs> ever. Until you can. Why would you do that? In fact, yeah. that's when we learned that Steve will say, will say anything. <laughs> you can't do that until you can. Um, until it's time. Yeah, remember yeah. the uh, iPod Shuffle that had no... Yeah, that was great. Yeah, basically no control, no screen. You just you played what you played. Yep. I had a couple of those. Those were great. One looked like a stick of gum, right? And then they got one that was a clip that you clipped on. Yeah, I thought they were great. The, the, we still have one of the iPhone precursors, the ones that looked like the touch. kind of an iPhone. Yeah, yeah the yeah. iPod Touch that that was my son's when he was little. Aww. And when we were going through, you know, spring cleaning the house or whatever, he stumbled across it. We still have it. It still works. But the um, apps are no longer supported. So a lot of them... Aww don't work, but a lot of them do. I mean, like to the extent they're just accessing whatever is on that device. And it was so nostalgic for him to oh, go, yeah. oh, I remember this from when I was five. <laughs> yeah, periodically we'll get yeah. out my original iPod, which I still have in my museum over here. You have to find a Firewire cable to, to yeah. charge oh. it up. Uh, and yes, yeah, yeah. it's Britney Spears, because I guess I was really into this. <laughs> I think my kids got some music on my iPod. I think that's the yeah. real, that's my real like, that's my experience. likely story. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. 